close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. Try to keep your mind here with the breath. Make the breath comfortable so it's a good place to stay. You can experiment for a bit to see what kind of breathing feels good. Long or short, fast, slow, heavy, light. It's up to you to choose what kind of breathing you like. But then once you've got something you like, make sure that the mind actually stays there. You want to get some control over your mind. When you tell it to do something, you want it to do what you want it to do. You don't want it to go wandering off someplace else. Because if the mind isn't under your control, then it means your thoughts and your words and your deeds aren't under your control. You end up doing a lot of things you'd rather not do, or things that you would regret afterwards. So try to get some control over your mind. You tell it to stay here, and it stays right here. That's the mind you can live with. Otherwise, it's like a committee with lots of different opinions inside. You pull it this way, pull it that way. And life never turns into anything that you really want it to be. It goes a little bit this way, and then it turns around and goes that way, and you ask yourself, well, where is it going? Well, it's because the mind hasn't directed itself rightly, as the Buddha said. You want to make up your mind what's a really good thing to look for in life, what's a really good thing to try to accomplish, and try to make sure that everything you do focuses on that and doesn't go pulling you off in other directions. So the shape of your life depends on the shape of your mind. You want to get your mind in good shape, i.e. a mind that when you tell it to stay, it stays. When you tell it to go, it goes. It doesn't fight back. Or if it does fight back, you've got the power to overcome its rebelliousness. So you can get it to do what you really want. Otherwise, your life is, your life is like having a car, but you give the keys to a crazy person. The crazy person gets an urge in his mind, and he just goes off driving in who knows what direction, because you have no control over the crazy person. Well, the mind that hasn't been trained is quite crazy like that. As the Buddha said, that's, the mind can change its direction so quickly that there's no good analogy for how quick it is. It's quicker than anything else in the world. So you want to make sure that if it does change direction, it changes direction in a good, good direction. Once it's on a good direction, you, you don't want it to change. That's the kind of mind you can live with, and that requires training. It's not going to be that way on its own. You have to make up your mind that you're going to give it a task to do, and it sticks with the task and sees it all the way through. That's when you can look at your life and say, oh yes, I accomplished something really worthwhile, because I didn't allow the mind to go wandering off everywhere I wanted to requires some restraint. We don't like the word restraint, but then when you think it's not at deprivation, it's basically kind of trade. You're trading the mind's desire just to wander aimlessly for something that's of more solid value. So when you see that there is solid value to be had in life, okay, make sure your mind is up for finding that solid value, that it's trained in the right direction, that it's under your control. And it starts with simple exercises like this, just staying with the breath and staying here continually, not wandering off. This is why it's called developing. Bhavana is the word for meditation. It means that you develop good qualities in the mind. And to develop them, you have to stick with them. Otherwise, it's like planting a tree. You plant the tree, but you don't water it, and it's going to die. You plant another tree, you don't water it, it's going to die. Do that for a hundred years, and you end up with just lots of dead little trees. Nothing to really show for your efforts. But if you plant one tree and take good care of it, it can provide you with fruit, provide you with shade, all the good things that you would expect out of a tree. And all you need is just one, but you stick with it. So try to learn how to make your mind one and stick with it and see how it develops. <laughs>